the National Business and Industry Leadership Team is an essential element of how we get our uh, students prepared for the workforce. Our curriculum is designed specifically to match the knowledge, skills, and abilities that our National Business and Industry Team members expect our students to know in the next 12, 24 months, 36 months out into the future. We meet with the National Business and Industry Leadership Team members and their representatives in the industry from all across the nation. We meet with them on a quarterly basis to identify the knowledge, skills, and abilities they want us to teach. And we also go over our certificate and degree plans with them and get approval from them for what we're teaching. And we also talk with them about trends so that we can do minor tweaks to our curriculum along the way. Well, I'm kind of the ringleader. I'm the one that put the belt together and I'm the one that invites people to come. Although now I have to say that we have enough of the belt members that are actively involved that they invite their colleagues. They actually invite people that they run into that they think ought to be added to the belt uh, as we go along. Plus two, under the DOL grant, we have expanded our belt to include different discipline areas. We now not only have a, a belt that acts as a uh, leadership team for the networking area or convergence area. We have one for the cybersecurity area, one for the program area, and also for uh, geospatial technologies. The BILT got started because we uh, patterned what we're doing in the Department of Labor grant around what we did in the National Convergence Technology Center, which is a National Science Foundation center. Uh, when we began the Convergence Technology Center with the National Science Foundation, the information technology industry was in decline. So we worked with the businesses in the North Central Texas region mm -hmm. to basically reimagine and redevelop IT for the entire region. We worked with them in focus groups first and then actually with our process for identifying the knowledge, skills, and abilities that they thought the next wave of IT workers would need to know. But the fact that we met with them every three months was very effective in getting them to own our program. And the fact that they actually own our program has caused them to be very engaged with us such that the students, when they graduate, are very readily employable. We don't really have any problems getting them employed once they finish the program. There are many things that the BILT members have done for us and for our students along the way. They are always available to help us in our awareness sessions when we're talking to students about what the jobs are. And one of the things that they've helped us with most recently is the virtual internship externship pilot that we did this spring at Collin College. We know that internships are one of the best ways to help students be prepared for the workforce because in fact they get the experience in an internship and often end up working for the very company at which they did their internship. But sometimes students don't have time to do the internship and sometimes there aren't enough internships to go around. So when we wrote the proposal for the DOL grant, we came up with the idea of having a virtual internship. The way this works is in a project class, the students come together as a project team and the faculty member is in fact the project lead and the business person has a real-world project or a real-world case study that he or she brings to the class, and then he or she mentors the group throughout the semester via webinar. It's not just Collin College that has benefited from the BILT, it's all seven consortium colleges have benefited from the BILT because we do have a national BILT at this point that functions more or less like a board of directors.